This is the end that they face. You can see them now digging their own graves in the very place where they were stationed. And that man you see and hear there is one of America's most wanted. This is an ISIS propaganda video. The FBI believes that man is an American, and now they want your help tracking down him and other homegrown terrorists. News Channel 5's John Kosick spent the evening at a local pub where, John, ISIS was actually the topic at hand. Yeah, not the typical setting, but ISIS, as we know, not the typical threat. And it is where the FBI wants this discussion to begin locally. Get people talking, thinking, make them aware so as not to only identify the person in the video, but others here at home who may want to follow him. The happy dog in Cleveland may seem like an unusual place for a discussion on ISIS. One shouldn't sneer at it, it's calling itself an Islamic state. But the FBI says there is nothing usual about ISIS. They're very savvy in terms of uh, their media presence, um, they're very adept at using social media. Um, they're clearly targeting a Western audience. And that is why they are turning to the American public and helping to identify an overseas terrorist because the man in this propaganda video has a clear North American accent. And we're here with the soldiers of Bashar. You can see them now digging their own graves in the very place where they were stationed. The very place where they were stationed terrorizing the Muslims in Raqqa. This individual could be from Cleveland, much as he could be from, you know, Sacramento, California. And while they seek to identify him, they ask, too, for the public's help in identifying others like him here at home. That's what keeps me up at night, individuals that are sort of self-radicalizing, uh, self-study, that are then taking that message, that are figuring out a way to, to visit that kind of terror on us and, uh, and the fellow citizens here in the United States. Back at tonight's ISIS discussion, though, Professor Hugh Roberts of Tufts University in Boston said many believe that threat is being overstated and needs to be put in perspective. It depends on what you mean by threat. If you mean a threat to people in America, I think that's very, very low. Uh, but if you d d define the national interest as something that extends to the American presence all around the world, then of course that's a different matter. And Professor Roberts was saying at this point, there is with ISIS, there's no way to objectively measure what a threat is or exactly what ISIS is. As for the man in the video, Chris, the computers are using to put together a composite sketch of what the man's face is behind that mask. And of course, anyone with any information is asked to call the FBI. Of course, the manhunt is on. Johnson, thanks a lot.